What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today's video is very much like the old series I would do, Theory is Dead. Very much akin to that. And today's song we're looking at is Black Throated Wind. So let's go. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Cool. So today's video, we are checking out the Grateful Dead's Black Throated Wind. One of these songs where you hear the intro, right? And you're like, is it Jack Straw? It could be. And then you hear. Classic. Very iconic intro with these double stops, hey? So the main objective of today's video is as much as checking out the nuances in Black Throated Wind which I got these intro double stops. The double stops that happen, I guess you can call maybe in the pre-chorus, where it goes to the A, da, 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 right, over those chords. And then finally, we'll look at the solo section, right, that progression from G, D to A, and some cool ideas and what we can do over that. So let's go. Cool. Let's take it from the top, shall we? We first have this E to E suspended chord, and you can do it in two different voicings. You can do one, I guess, a more Bobby-esque voicing. Right. Where you're playing this open root, low E string. Root, third, fifth. And then with your middle finger, you're hammering onto that A, right? The seventh fret of the D string. You can also do that same voicing in your open E position right here, right? Either way are acceptable. I think this one sounds better. It's a bit darker. And you can do. Something I really want to stress about those double stops is the, how would you say, the attitude in which you hit them. You really want to like really emphasize them. And how I'm doing it, as you can see, is with my fingers, right? I think that would actually sound the best. And make sure you're muting the strings that aren't being used so then you can actually sort of grip them harder and not worry about excess noise, if that makes sense, right? sharp minor D A E you can do 
sus. E, three, four, F sharp minor. To get to the F sharp minor, you could walk up in a couple ways. You can do, right, and do, or you can do, four, to that D. A, right, or keep it more simple. How about that one? An octave lower, E, F, F sharp. Which brings us to, I guess, the second verse or maybe the pre-chorus. I'm not sure how you would describe it. Where guitar one is really like holding these chords out, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. A, two, three, four. D, two, three, four. B minor, two, three, four. E, two, three, four. Right? The key, in my opinion, for that section, and really the whole song, is let the chords breathe don't try to do too much with them like try to be all fancy nancy right especially if you're jamming by yourself maybe the approach of less is more will make it sound maybe bigger because everything is breathing right so again from that pre-chorus section we have a two three four d two three four b minor two all triads. Right. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, if we look at Garcia's part, his, I guess, signature in this whole song are the double stops. And he's outlining those chords, the A, D, uh, B minor, and E. He's outlining those with his double stops, right? So he's doing... That's pretty cool, hey? Like this A, he's doing C sharp, A, D, and B, E, C sharp for that A. Here comes the D by going for this G, E. There's that D major uh, dyad, that F sharp D descending to that E and C sharp. One more down. D, B, A. To this A, F sharp. Then you can go B, G sharp to finish it off, right? Pause 
one second and we can see how the chords and double stop interact together. Cool. Got a loop going of the chords. Let's see how the double stops interact over that. As you can see, again, I'm still using my fingers. Using my index finger on the G string and my ring finger on the high E string. You can also do like how I think Garcia does it and use a pick, right? Three, four. A different sound, right? Let's see how that sounds with the pick over that progression. I think the fingers sound better. Just a great part, right? Just a great part, a great guitar part in a great song, right? And so simple also. Maybe does that? Three, four. Effortless mastery. Let's check out the, I guess, the chorus part of the song where it goes from this D, C sharp, A, all that fun stuff with weird amount of chords being played in a certain bar, <laughs> if that makes sense. So now we approach what we can call maybe the chorus section of the song. And what's interesting slash confusing about this part is the odd times of which you hold these chords right so check it out we'll do one two three one two for that c sharp then we'll do a five times one two three four five e two c two a two then we'll do D to C sharp minor, A, E to A four, G to three four, A to three four, two three four. So 
ครับใช่ so I guess in context it'd be like the Time just the chords. So, all that we just looked at repeats two more times over verse two and verse three. So, with all that being said, let's check out some soloing ideas we can do over the outro chord progression. Cool. So, first things first, before we dive into some solo ideas, as usual, we have to see what's happening beneath the solo with the chord progression. It's pretty simple: G, D, and A. And I'm playing it like this. Check it out. With that little uh, D at the end. <laughs> Instantly, to me at least personally, A major, A mixolydian tonality is pretty apparent, right? Because obviously we have this G, this flat seven in the key of A. So we can do A mixolydian. You know, your A makes Lydian all over the neck. <laughs> Crucial. So, like I said, we have this very A major sound. So we could do a lot of that kind of stuff, right? <laughs> Straight to the point, A major. Being really happy with that A major sound, right? 
Lydian. Now let's see it in context with the loop. guys that is today's lesson focusing on the grateful dead's black throated wind a really great song in the grateful dead catalog and one that garcia really dominates with great guitar parts as well as usually really great outro jams slash solos so with all that being said if you enjoyed today's video please leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one